Big hair, don't care. Hi everybody. Alright, so... <laughs> let's get this lion's mane under control here. Alright, so I'm going to do my July favorites. Like, it's August? So it's August, <laughs> and I'm late with this, but oh well. Um, but I have some things I wanted to share with you that I love from the month of July. So let's get started and start showing you some stuff. By the way, if you like my eye makeup, I just posted this tutorial yesterday. So, um, yeah, I'll have it linked down below in the description bar if you're interested. So the first things I want to talk about, um, let's talk about some eyeshadow. So I've been loving this color I have on today. This is called Motive from Silk Naturals. And it's kind of hard to see inside here, but it's kind of like a silver, icy, silvery, icy, taupey champagne color. It's what I have on my lids. It's that beautiful, metallic, intense, pretty color. And there it is there. Nice, shiny, reflective, metallic, beautiful, silvery, icy taupe. I just love that color. It's just such a beautiful color. I've been liking to wear it on my lids a lot. It just, it makes it makes my eyelids so shiny and reflective and just like makes my eyes kind of really pop so every time I blink it's just like pop 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 you know I just love it um and another thing I pulled out also eyeshadows that oh gosh I just every time I use this palette I just become more and more obsessed with it it's like the perfect palette to me this is the Too Faced chocolate bar palette it's just a beautiful neutral palette that has some nice purple colors in here as well. It's just a really nice versatile palette <laughs> and I love it. I love it, love it, love it so much. So my favorite colors this month, I've worn in a couple of my other videos like in my Lush haul I had this look on. Um, it's just beautiful. I like to take to take marzipan just put that a little bit on the inner corner and it's just a beautiful shiny metallic color and then I love creme brulee here on the rest of my lids, it's just a beautiful tarnished kind of gold color. It just, once again, it's one of like those metallic eyelids that just kind of pop and I just love it. Um, I've been taking, I use milk chocolate in my crease um, as my transition color and then usually I like to take um, semi-sweet here on the outer corner here. It just makes a really nice pretty color palette and it just creates a really pretty nice smoky, shiny, metallic, warm brown eye. I just love it. So there they are swatched on my hand so you can see that is the um, semi-sweet milk chocolate. There's creme brulee and marzipan. Um, so you could just see it creates such a pretty beautiful smoky eye. If you wanted to see what it looks like on, um, like I said, I have it on in my Lush video which I will also have linked down below. Um, but I've just been loving this and especially that eye look. I think I will do a tutorial on it if you guys would like one because I just, I wear it almost every single day. I wear it to work, I just tone it down a little bit and I wear it like on a day I'm not working. I like to, you know, intensify and pack on more color. It's just such a beautiful, complimentary, smoky eye look that's not over the top but just gorgeous and just like really summery and beachy kind of feeling. So if you want a tutorial on that, let me know and I will do that. I'm really trying to film more tutorials, get ready with me's, things like that. Try to get back to my roots. <laughs> um, so now I want to talk about some lip products. I, I just, I've been loving lips lately. Um, so this first one I had on also in my Lush video, and I posted a picture of me wearing this on Instagram, and I got a lot of feedback that you guys loved the lip color. This is Centifolia from Bite Beauty. It's from the Deconstructed Rose Lipstick line. And it's just this beautiful, beautiful kind of warm, pinky, peach. Oh, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous color. And this looks really well with that brown smoky eye. It's just so amazing. Okay, I'm going to film a tutorial on that so I can show you guys with this and the eye look from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Perfection. Another color I've also been loving, even though it kind of, it's such like an ugly color, but I love it. I mean, it's not ugly, but it's just such an odd color. It's just such an odd color. It's just a different color that I never think about wearing, but I really like it on. This is Bites Kava, and it's like a beigey lavender color. Yeah, beige lavender. It's kind of like a zombie, and I just love it. Um, it just... 
it doesn't make me look dead, it's just, it's interesting. I like it a lot. I, I wear this in my tutorial I posted yesterday, so if you want to see that, <laughs> link down below again. My goodness, okay, enough with this, like, linking stuff. I'm not trying to spam you guys. And then the other color I've been liking, I have on now, and I have a little bit of kava in the middle, but this is from Silk Naturals, and it's called Bravado. It's such a beautiful berry pink. There it is there. It's just a nice, rich, purpley berry that's very wearable. And I have that pretty much on the rest of my lips besides the little middle part of Kava. And I just love it. These Silk Natural lipsticks, honestly, guys, are just about the same quality as the Bite Beauty lipsticks. They're just really nice, rich, and creamy, and pigmented, and saturated in color. But these are like you know, 5 50 compared to 24 $26, you know. But I do love them both, and you know, I will repurchase both of them. I, they're some of my favorite lipstick brands. I'm going to talk about a couple blushes. This blush has just kind of been my everyday blush. It's perfect for work, it's perfect for whenever, every day. If you have a really intense smoky eye on, it's just a really nice complimentary blush. And it's just not over the top, but it has a nice bit of a sheen to it. This kind of makes your cheeks pop and look glowy without being over the top. This is Topeka from Cargo. And that's what the lid looks like. It comes in a cute little tin. The packaging is kind of bulky, but it's cute at the same time, so I deal with it. Um, but it's what's inside that really matters. These blushes are amazing, and I really want to try more of them. I have two of them. And this one is kind of a soft, muted pink, kind of like a neutral rosy pink color. And it just works so good with so many different eye looks. You really don't have to think about it. Here it is there, so you can see it has a little bit of a sheen to it, and then it just gives you like a nice touch of color without being over the top, and it's just gorgeous. Let me try and give you a better swatch, just like somewhere where, there you go. <laughs> kind of awkward angle, but it's it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color, and I just really, really love it. Nice neutral pinky rose with a little bit of shimmer. It just, it makes your cheeks look gorgeous and effortless, and it's just pretty. I like it. Obviously, it's in my favorites. Okay. And then the last blush favorite is the Radiant Magenta from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. This is just so gorgeous, especially for summer right now. If you have a little bit of a tan, this magenta color just really pops on your cheeks. It has a little bit of the Radiant um, Ambient Lighting Powder blush in here, so it has a little bit of like a peachy, goldy undertone to it. But it's just absolutely beautiful. Getting kind of awkward with my swatches today, but there it is there. So it's just a really nice magenta -y pink and these just are so soft and pigmented and smooth and easy to blend really nice beautiful blush I really have been enjoying this all right last but not least I want to talk about two nail polishes that I've really loved this month um, the first one I think I posted a picture of this on my Instagram and I've worn this a couple times it's just a beautiful iridescent dual chrome purple with like oh my goodness fuchsia yeah like a a beautiful light lilac purple with like a fuchsia duochrome to it. It's just like holographic awesomeness. And this is Julep's Kayla. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but it just has like this duochrome sheen to it. It just looks so pretty on the nails. Like some kind of unicorn magical awesomeness is happening when you wear this. It's just amazing. And this last color is called Kelsey. This is like a salt water taffy creamsicle orange color. A slight bit of peach. I just love it and just looks so good on the nails. It's the perfect summer color. It's just, yeah, reminds me of the boardwalk, the salt water taffy yumminess, awesomeness in a nail. I just love it. So those were all my favorites for the month of July. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Tell me your favorites of the month. I love your guys' recommendations. You guys have great taste. And I think that's all. I hope you guys have a fantastic August. Oh my gosh, it's August. What? Anyways, so thanks so much for watching. I heard you guys all. Bye, everybody.